Well, hey guys, I think we're in the right place. Vancouver, we're gonna check out the BC Bike Show. It's my first year going to this thing and uh, looks like we're just about to beat the rain, so let's check it out. So we got a brand here called Kona. They started in 1988. 1988. Right, I'm hanging out with Scott. He was giving me the background. These are some 2018 models, it sounds like, using the Bosch with the big jelly bean cover right there. Pretty standard, look kind of like hybrid city models, but then there's this other one back here. This is like a cargo bike. Yeah. What's the deal with that one? So this is uh, the Kona EU, so a utility bike. Hence the name. Uh, through axle? Through axle, yeah. yeah. So it's definitely uh, it's a long rig here, but uh, many uses for this guy. These bags actually come on the bike here and you can load her up. It comes with the bags. It comes with the bags, yeah. That's awesome, yeah, these look really nice. Like, pretty waterproof. Yeah, totally. So super waterproof and when you're not using them, you can fold them up real tight. But it could be your grocery getter. Oh, nice. You could do kind of whatever with this, so. Do you guys sell like the platform things here? You know, if you want to have like a Yeah, yeah, if you want to put passenger a different... deal. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. So you can do, uh, we have a plastic platform here that is compatible with all the Yet products. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like if you want, you can buy those and it has the holes drilled in so it's literally just plug and play very cool very cool yeah, and you got yeah. the i love the intuvia it's removable it's got like the little charging port on the Absolutely, side yeah very readable and then we were just looking at this one that's your 2020 model right that is, yeah this is 2019 so we're like 2018 2019 2020. 2020 full suspension what is this like an all mountain bike over here it's an all mountain and enduro bike so definitely on the uh kind of longer travel <laughs> spectrum of it uh definitely meant for you know pretty much anything you can throw out. Yeah, let's take a look yeah. i want to see what the Looks like you got some big disc brakes here. It's like quad piston calipers, maybe? Yeah, absolutely. So, wow, okay, SRAM. Is it a SRAM drivetrain yeah, as well? SRAM yeah, on that guy, GX. GX. Tell me about the GX. It seems like they've got some e bike specific drivetrains. Yeah, so all these ones will come with a single shift. So, you know, with the e bike, you don't want it to have that, you know, rapid fire shifting just because. You know, it has a lot of power, and if you're, you know, putting the torque down, you can That's damage right. the cassette. So one gear at a time, which is nice. It's an E8000 motor. It is an E8000. Yeah, it's so. pretty purest motor right there. Smaller there form go. factor, like exactly. Q factor, and everything. Yeah, we went for that one this year just because they were uh, a little ahead in allowing us to have a shorter chain stay. Yeah. Ah, With the ah. Bosch of previous years mm -hmm. on the CX motor, it came a little bit further back, and it. You know, it was a great, great motor, tons of power, but this one allows us to actually have like pure mountain bike geometry on it. So more right. of a proper bike feel. Love it, man. And the integrated yeah. battery looks yeah. really nice. Yeah, is this clean. proprietary for you guys? Uh, you, like, the cover it? the cover is, yeah. So it's it's a Bosch ba or a Shimano battery in there, sorry. But uh, this cover is ours, yeah. So yeah it looks nice really clean. nice. You got the bottle cage bosses and everything. Yeah. So it's a pretty nice dropper post. Um, what are the tires on this? Are these plus size? They are. So it's uh, 27.5 by 2.8. 2.8. Wow. Casing, so like proper, Beefy. proper mountain bike tires. Okay. Yeah. What's Kona known for? I mean, to be to be honest with you, like it's a newer brand to me. I okay. wasn't exposed to it. I'm from the States originally. Sure. So we are, I'd say, 50-50 Canadian U.S. owned now. We have our uh, bigger kind of product department in the States now. Okay. But Bellingham, I hear. Exactly, yeah. But all of our graphics and stuff are still done in-house in Canada. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no worries, man. It's a very, like, right over there. kind of fun. Was this, like, a competition you had Exactly, yeah. Something? So we had a competition to win this bike frame here this weekend. Did, did you win it? What happened? I wish, man. You <laughs> no, no, the guy went three minutes and uh, 18 seconds. Oh, my gosh. That's, I make it, like, a quarter that time. It's pretty sick. Yeah, it seems yeah. like a, a fun brand, and congrats on expanding, you know, internationally yeah. and stuff. Yeah, like, absolutely. Oh, yeah, we've been doing downhill bikes since way back when with uh, Fabian Burrell, helped us out a long time ago, and, oh. yeah. One world champs with that. So, when yeah. did Crankwork start? Because if you guys have been around since 1988, I mean, oh yeah, uh, God, I went to the first one. It's early 2000s. Wow. And before that, it was Joyride as well. So, yeah, and I can yeah. see why they they keep you around, Scott. Yeah. And good guy. Thank you for yeah. going on camera yeah. with me. Right. I hope uh, you get a chance to check these out later in the year. And uh, good luck. Yeah, sweet. Cheers, Cheers. Man. Melody. It's so good to see Hi, you. Bart. How are you doing? Awesome. Oh, how are you? I remember. Gosh, this this is the magic or the magic. This is the magic. Nice. Yeah, it's awesome. We've added a suspension to the Magic. That is awesome. Yes. I remember covering this bike and being really impressed by the motor power and then talking about this bee's knees thing. Yes. Tell me more. What's yeah. How's it going? It's going great. We've opened our store um, almost two years now. We're at downtown Vancouver. We it's are, like a tour thing, yes. right? So people want to come and rent a bike yep. and go see Vancouver by bike. By e-bike. Which e -bike. is like the best way to the see it. The best way. Right? You can just cruise around, throttle away. 
Um, yeah, we are doing tours, we're doing rentals. Um, we're the bee's knees when it comes to e-bikes. I love it. It's such a <laughs> cute logo and stuff. This seems like you've really polished it in the past couple years. Oh, I'm so glad that's going well for you. You still got like the, is this the carbon fiber folding one? That, that we is, at? yeah. What's we that still one have called? That. The Fairweather. Fairweather. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is awesome. Gosh, I take, take me for a little tour here. I want to sure. see what this looks like. Yeah. Uh, and just get another shot. How much are you selling the Magic for? Because this was one of the, it's kind of a unique uh, drive system that's, that's proprietary right. to you guys, right? That's right. Um, um, it's a mid-drive, high wattage. Uh, it's got a throttle feature and a pedal assist. Nice. Um, this one starts at $19.99. Not yeah. bad, not bad. Yeah. I love the necklace, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that great? So you have the yeah. fair weather, and then is this the, the Logan? This is the Logan. It's basically our kind of commuter bike. Um, it's got the thinner tires, and uh, it gets up to speed pretty fast. Excellent. It's yeah. sort of like a hybrid, high step. That's right. And then over here we got the step through. This is the Magic Pro with the belt drive here. Oh, A lot belt of people drive. ask us how are we going to fit a baby on there. We, we found a solution. There, there are uh, bike seats that adapt to universal rack, so that's what we've done here. Huh. This yeah. is, this is, does Yep also work? Um, yes, yes, so they for got the sure. clamp on the bottom. They I just haven't clamp. seen this brand before, but it looks like yeah. it fits really well with the panniers. Panniers. You gotta get your diapers in there, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, that is an important yeah. step. You don't want to forget. Is this uh, is this your Bluetooth? bike? It looks this like is, it has yeah, this. <laughs> pretty much. I've got my water bottle set up, a cell phone holder here, oh, and oh my uh, gosh. you know some music. What a great cockpit on this thing! You got like all the all the fixins, and uh, I feel like you might have almost ridden your bike to the show or something. Yeah, because... it's easier than driving. Driving for sure. Are you still based in Vancouver? Or yes. Where's the headquarters? Yeah. yeah, we're in Vancouver. We have a store in Vancouver. We have a warehouse in Richmond. So yeah, we are here. Sweet. Well, I think I've, I've reviewed most of these models. You might have to do some updates in 2020, but so glad to hear that the the tourists like e-bike company Bees yeah. Knees is going well and, and you look great. I Thank hope you. you're doing well too. We are doing great. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, Court. We'll see you next year. Thank you. Hey, I recognize this guy. How's it going, Ace? Hey, everything is good. Awesome, man. Yeah. Tell me about your booth. What you got going? Yeah, I have, uh, we have new bikes. Uh, you know, as we've been uh, almost four years in the industry, so we have the new Rise. It's been introduced uh, in the beginning of this year. Wow. So, this one's pretty unique right here. What do we got going? Is this like a plus size or is this a full four inch fat tire? Yeah, that's a four inch uh, tire puncture resistance. It, co it comes with a large battery capacity, 19.2, cruise control, 750 watts for the US, and for Canada it's 500 watts. Uh, wow. Yeah. Well, you got the rack, the fenders, lights, adjustable stem. Gotta love that. Everything. Super bright lights, light, uh, fenders, rack, and... Uh, What's that one called? So this is the Leader. It's basically the same model as the X, but this is a smaller frame, lower by two inch, and it comes with a wider seat. That's why we named it the Leader and a high-rise yeah, handlebar. Yeah. A little bit more relaxed, upright body position. Yep. I yep. like that. That's yep. awesome. Yep. And for those who uh, don't really, they're not really interested in the fat tires, this is a similar model with a, this is a multi-terrain tires. It's also versatile, good for city commuting and off-roads as awesome. well. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Wow. Hey, and then you got a step-through version, it looks yes, like. Yes, that's uh, swept back and it's adjustable, as you see. And of course, all the bikes, they come in two options, hydraulic brakes and mechanical disc brakes. How much is this one, this step-through right here? It's a good commuter. Yeah, that uh, uh, starts off uh, $1,300 uh, US yeah. uh, and $1,600 for Canadian dollar. Uh, yeah, I base. see you've got this like proudly Canadian, but you also sell in the US? Yeah, we have our own distribution facility and uh, center in LA. That's Sweet. So to make shipping and things a lot faster and for service and warranty issues a lot better. These are all your bikes. So this is, I mean, you've been in the industry since like 2017, but this is like, is this your first year doing Rise? Yep, yep, uh, because we're expanding to Europe and uh, expanding globally, so we have to renovate our brand under one umbrella. Wow, so, yeah. what, what areas in Europe? Like what countries or what? Well, it's, uh, there's, a, well, mainly in uh, UK and uh, we're gonna start in Norway and Switzerland. So, Fantastic. And Australia too. Well, you got the full fat bike and then this is this is pretty cool over here you got like the banana bike or the what yeah, is it that's a blade so basically uh, the blade now it comes with the rack foot pegs it can load two person oh look at that so you can I mean does the second person sit here or where are they supposed to sit they can sit here here and, and yeah exactly okay so you both say hey look at this yeah bottle holder you have two bosses here to for a pulling lock oh my god 20 amps 
So look at the battery from here. How? Yeah. This is this is this is 20 amps. Oh my gosh. It is a fat battery. Here, put it in. I want to see this again. Okay, so it does spill out a little bit to the yeah. left. Not not a whole lot, but there's a little bit of a. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and you got the like sealed cadence sensor and stuff. Nice so, display. Yeah, so some bikes come with torque sensor and some with the uh, cadence. Okay. Uh, and all the bikes have cruise control. That's a good thing. Nice, nice. We're That's the only a bike company feature. mostly in the cadence sensor who have cruise control. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to check it out. Thanks so much for the time. Good to yeah. see you, man. I yeah. hope you're doing well. No worries. Yeah, my pleasure. Okay, so we're at the Giant booth here. We've got Live, which is like the women's line, and then Giant. I guess that could be unisex, right? Yeah. Yeah, we do step through bikes and we do uh, traditional top two bikes And as this well. is Paul? Yes. Okay, sweet. Uh, it, Paul, we were saying these are some of the most popular city models right here. Tell me about that. Yeah, so for 2020, we've introduced two new, uh, what I would call, city bikes. Uh, on the live end, we have the Thrive uh, E-Pro, and then we have the Fast Road E-Pro. So these are all available of our new Pro motors. Cool. So it's a Yamaha-based motor, um, and these have 500 watt batteries in them. Um, so they have five levels of assistance. What's the new upgrades for Pro? Because Yamaha's had several, like the PWX yeah. and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah, so uh, we basically use uh, Yamaha motors. We call it Sync Drive on our particular bike. Yeah. The Pro motor has a few more upgrades from last year. So if you are familiar with last year's models, uh, the motor is a lot uh, lighter and slightly quieter. Oh, um, is this this is an example of our sport motor, okay. but it's a roughly around a 360 uh, gram weight motor. Wow. Um, but what's really good about the Pro Motor is the amount of sensors that the bike has. Mm -hmm. So now we have a cadence sensor, speed sensor, uh, an angle sensor. So if you have it in auto mode, it oh. feels more uh, natural in your pedaling feel as well. angle sensor, so if you're so climbing a hill. So going it gives you more Whoa, power. So in our cool. new bikes, we have the auto setting, which is all controlled from the handlebar. Okay. So you can auto select, and that again, saves you on battery life as well. Yeah. So it means that it uses the right amount of battery on flat surfaces. If you're descending, it kind of cuts off the battery so you don't oh, cool. need it much, but then when you need it on a big hill, say a 10 percenter, it's gonna give you more power. Nice. So the auto allows you to do that. So really popular for us this year going forward, the Thrive, fully kitted. So it's got full fenders, full lights, controller, everything all on Alloy. the Alloy. Integrated nice. batteries and a rear rack system. Okay. The men's version being the fast road, black stealth model. Okay. A uh, few other bikes we're introducing this year. And he um, said these are these are all class one, we're in Canada. So even though it says fast, this is 32 kilometers yeah. per hour on yeah. those. So the Rainy is a big step up for us uh, this year. Last year we had the Trance, the Rainy again avails of our Pro Motor, so the pedal efficiency and the feel feels more natural. Uh, again, we're using those sensors, so we've got wheel sensors hidden in the back of the frame, yep. so that knows your speed, your cadence is coming from the motor, so it gives you that natural riding feel. Big bike, we're looking at 27.5 with a bigger tire, spec with a double down rear tire, again for that heavier weight of the bike. Nice. Um, and then fully adjustable like our regular range, so this is a full off-road bike. And what motor is this? It looks like slightly bigger. So slightly different motor. Um, this is going to be the uh, sport motor, mm -hmm. but because of the design of this frame, we're getting extra protection to the bike because oh. the BB is quite low. It's so this is just a casing. So, yeah. yeah. So this is just a casing just to protect. It integrates into here into the frame so it protects you. Yeah. Um, where on the rain one, we actually have a magnetic one, which is pretty awesome. Whoa. So this keeps rain and dirt out and comes from the battery protector straight down. So more off-road, you're not striking the cranks on the uh, bottom of the That's frame more. But again, fully aggressive off-road, especially here in North Vancouver. Sure. Really good for the off-road terrain. Again, speed limited to 32 kilometers with our ride control uh, here, which is fully adjustable. Do you guys have this, some sort of a smartphone app? So smartphone, yeah, uh, integrates with this bike. So uh, when you're riding on the bike, we have a app that allows you to go into this. This one will be synced with this bike, obviously. Sorry. But you connect to it and it tells you how far you've pedaled, battery life, your riding style, so it knows what kind of, uh, if you need to be in what level of assistance. Makes sense. Um, and then if you need to do any uh, firmware updates or anything like that, you can simply just connect to the bike and do it all. We got a road bike over here. Yeah, so roadie. Again, road using our pro motor with a double chain set on it, so like I a traditional road bike. So, yeah, Yamaha motors have traditionally, they've allowed you to do more than just yeah. the one bike. 
Yeah, which so is the Q unique. factor on Yamaha, one of the reasons why we use it is as close to a natural bike as possible. So we don't have these huge wide Q factors that you have on certain Do models. Do you know what it is? Like a 168? Uh, not off the top of my head, but uh, it is significantly narrower than some of the competition. I'll get the details on yeah. that when we do some reviews. Yeah, yeah so this again, is cool. internal battery. A uh -huh. cool thing that I didn't point out on all the bikes here, but on certain models, we have this integrated uh, additional battery that can oh, be mounted onto it. So you it. can double up. So you can go to 250 watts of additional power. Wow. And then it also plugs straight in to the mounting on the on the, uh, the plug. So How do you, when you charge them, do they charge simultaneous or do you have to plug and charge them No, it'll be two separate charges. Two separate charges? Yeah, yeah. so the 250 you would either put in a backpack. Um, on this actual device here, you can have a water bottle cage on. That's nice. And then as you want to change, it's quick release, the water bottle cage slides off and then the um, the Beautiful. battery will mount straight on. Beautiful. How much, are as you, well. how much are the, the additional batteries? Um, you're I, looking at I a, said I wouldn't ask you detailed yeah, questions. I'm roughly sorry. about $600. Okay, yeah. not bad. And um, then these were the final ones. It's like a gravel yeah. grinder? Yeah, so basically you're looking at the Revolt, which is our new line of gravel bike, and we've now introduced an e-bike version of that. Um, wow. And again, this one is using the Pro Motor again. So any of our high-end bikes are going to use the Pro Double Motor. Double battery option. Double battery option on this. This is not, a regular not, bike. This is a regular bike. Regular bike. So these are the two bikes to just show you. But yeah, integrated battery again with the Yamaha motor. Controllers all up on the handlebars in the most ergonomic position. USB charging port. I USB charging that. port, yeah, yeah, which yeah. not a lot of people know about. Some people use it for um, iPhones or music systems or whatever. So if you're bike packing or whatever, you can charge up your Garmin yeah. and all that kind of stuff as well. But it allows you to run all the way through all the um, settings. And then what's cool, which is a new addition for us this year, you select down here, you go to the off mode, one more click, and you're now in full. Auto. Oh, and that's so where that's the where inclination, you, yeah, yeah, all that. All, that, all the sensors come into work then. Sweet, man. But uh, yeah, all have the push assist and everything, and then uh, ability to put lights on the bike as well. Now, the USB, is that like 5 volt, 1 amp, you think? If it um, charges iPhones, or 5 volt, 500 milliamp? I'll I know, this it. is super techy. Again, super I'll get techy. the answers, yeah. I'll get the answers. But Paul, thank yep. you so no much, worries. man. Yep. This is okay. really sweet. And I love that you guys do like the female versions of some yep. of this. Is that like slightly wider saddle, shorter yeah, reach? Yeah, so a few different things. Uh, our live brand, uh, run side by side to the giant brand. Uh, all our designers are female, um, so they're really working towards creating the perfect bike for female. Nice. It's not simply a pink it and shrink it. Um, <laughs> geometry changes on the bike, top tube lengths change on the bike, the contact points change on the bike, yeah. but also a lot of other things like uh, you know suspension settings, so uh, the tendency is with females uh, of lighter weight, it's hard to get a suspension that works the same as it would work for I a see. 150 or 170 pound rider, yeah. so all our suspension is tuned in a camp and you can read by here that it's custom tuned wow. so what that means is the shim stacks are different the oil levels are different everything is adjusted to suit female market um, and then all these women all of these bikes are tested by women so they're actually it. ridden full-time uh, we take measurements from the average woman and not pinpoint certain things so the reach and stack and so on is all different that also applies to our women's bikes in the city bike. This so we nice. do a, a uh, Amity with a step through design, but we also do the Explory with a regular top tube and a step through this model. This is the one that I looked at yeah. last year closely, yeah. but I like the look at that. Yeah. And then your batteries tip out yeah, to the so side. Yeah, so side mounted battery for yeah. this particular because really you nice. can't remove from the top. But and one uh, thing, one yeah. thing, Paul, you yeah. had the Yamaha chargers like huge. Have they made it any smaller or is nope. it so huge? Uh, so we're using our own giant proprietary oh, smart charger, oh, and part um, of the... which I don't have here, but the box is quite big. But you need that. You need it for safety. Is it like a four amp charger? Is that part uh, of the So reason? we do have three different chargers. Um, so depending on uh, the battery and the motor mm -hmm. and how quick you want that battery to charge. Okay. Um, with our smart chargers, they are quite advanced. So in the off season, when you have the bike stored in the winter, it will always kick in and give a trickle charge so oh. the battery keeps its life. That's nice. um, and then it controls when the battery charges <laughs> completely. It will switch off the charger where certain Styles we'll just keep pushing, just keep pushing right? and yeah. pushing, and that's eventually going to burn out your battery. Okay. Another thing that a lot of people don't know about our batteries is uh, the cell protection for each cell. Mm -hmm. So each cell is completely wrapped separately, so then none of the cells are all touching each other. So in the case of an impact, uh, they're all protected. Also, in heating, with a lot of batteries running side by side, the tendency is they overheat, and, that's and that I'll loses you power. Mind. Yeah, so yep. it loses you power um, and loses battery life. So. Uh, we separate all our cells. Um, and then as technology evolves, when we have that position, as the cell gets stronger, we can start to use less cells in the batteries and that's gonna reduce your right. weight in the future. And then- Higher energy density cells. Exactly, Are you yeah. using like 3,500 E cells right now or um, some of the models? 
that I'm not too sure. I'd have to check. Now we'll get yeah. more. Yep. Thank yeah. you. Thank no you worries. very much. This is great. We'll do some giant stuff later in the year. And Paul, you were awesome. Okay, thank have you. Have a great have show. Good day. There we go. Michael, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Great, great, man. It's nice to see your bikes out here getting ready for 2020. We've already covered the new models and they look awesome. Yeah, this is a big show for us, kind of kick off the season in March, and uh, the weather starts to improve here in Vancouver. That's right. And people start riding their bikes. Yeah, yeah, it's a great, great time here. I've actually seen like traffic picking up a little bit on the site, and I've been thinking about getting out, and I'm really excited about the step through. This was that's the last one that we covered, and I don't know if it had, did it have this light? Is that, I mean, that is just so cool. I love this setup. Yeah, yeah that's the um, integrated light um, front and rear. It's uh, by Lazine. Um, that's right. And it's a uh, 220 lumens uh, light. Fantastic, man. I just remember riding this. We were down um, down by the ocean. What was by the that yeah, statue? By English Bay. English um, Bay. By the Inukshuk. Inukshuk. Yes, that was so much fun. I want to get a I want to get a shot from this angle. Come over here with me, real quick. Yeah. So all of our bikes uh, for 2020 using the Shimano Step system. Nice. Um, we have. Have a step through model. What? And tell me about what are the names again? The name so this is the cruise. The cruise. And then behind the cruise, we have the Discover. Uh -huh. um, both these bikes using the Shimano 6100 series motor. And then we also have a trekking bike called the Quest. Yeah, that's right, the Quest. The more powerful um, uh, trekking motor that comes in the 7000 series uh, steps motor. Sweet. I was really impressed with these bikes. I hope you have a great year with them. And again, a good show. This is a good way to kick off the year. And I think you guys are doing a great job. Thanks so much. There we go. We got some Benno models. Looks like these are 2019s, most of them. And I was just talking to Steve earlier. Man, I love the loadout on this thing, man. This is awesome. Thanks. Are these all branded accessories too? Yeah, so those are specific to the Benno rack system. Uh, a little bit longer than your average rack. It's our kind of semi-long cargo bike. Um, proprietary bags, real nice, easy flip design. Big, oversized, you can get a lot of gear wow, in there. got the charger, that's oh, important, yeah. two well, chargers. It happens to be our storage unit for the, <laughs> for the show here. Um, which also helps fill the bags and show the volume. I love the aesthetic and that you've got like extra spots for bottle cages oh, and, and stuff nice like this. a nice matching land yachts bottle here, one of our dealers here at the show today. Wow, so what's new with, tw hey, first of all, what's what's this? What's this little chunk thing right so there? So that's your second battery mount that uh, allows you to aftermarket add a second battery and mount plugs in, there's a port in the back of the engine so you can double up on your battery storage. That is sweet. Yeah, so. Are you guys sticking with power packs for 2020? Like not going to power tube or anything? Yeah, power packs that uh, easy on, easy off, uh, interchangeable. Way. Yeah, the racks are getting a little bit longer for next year on this model. It's going to an aluminum fork with an oversized dropout on it. Interesting. Um, the new Bosch Gen 4 motors will be coming. Yeah, like a, little say, quieter, our, uh, a little lighter. Our shipments were delayed, so we're not quite in stock with all the 2020 stuff oh, just yet but uh, the basic frame design and the the, the classic design of the e-boost is uh, continues on. I love it and look at the light mount that's always been really cool the well, utility of these bikes is awesome. Integration is a big thing um, <laughs> yeah. you know your integrated lights your fenders uh, obviously the aesthetic is mm -hmm. really important to Benno. Very cool. Um, you know that they, they want to as, as as nice looking as they do perform, so I think that's a, a highlight of the full line. Yeah, absolutely, man. And the fact that now Benno has gone completely e-bike. Uh, they are not doing the acoustic bikes anymore. They don't do it year. anymore. And no. I love that you call it acoustic. Yeah, right? well, like, digital acoustic, analog, digital acoustic analog. electric. <laughs> yeah. uh, take your pick, I get but, teased for that sometimes. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, like my acoustic bike. And people yeah. are like, analog, digital. There's was, there was a lot of people at the show that got a kick out of that. So, that's cute, man. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you so awesome. much, Steve. These Thanks bikes are great. Thanks for stopping by. to check them out. Hey guys, we're here with Roshan. Are you the founder of Bike Tricks? I am, yes. Yeah, yeah, and we've done a lot of work together. Last time we were hanging out in person was Las Vegas, and EBR covered some of your bikes in 2019, but I'm, I'm looking forward to maybe doing a couple myself in 2020. What's new for the company, man? Well, we've got lots of exciting stuff. You know, where we have a lot of uh, companies moving into the dual battery setup. Right. We're able to fit like a 21 amp hour battery on any of our bikes. Wow. So this is like, you know, and we've been doing this for about six months now, so we've got... Uh, <laughs> 
a kilowatt hour battery on the thing itself. That's fantastic. And so it's it's like the down tube. Yeah, um, it's, it's but, just but like a regular fatter, down tube, right? a little bit a thicker. Little yeah, exactly. What and do they call the these? Is it um, the, the battery style? So these are actually called Renishin. That's the name of the company that makes them. That's uh, right. Reengine case or Renishin. That's what they call it. And the ones where we use use like 80 cell pack. You know, so wow. it's really dense and you can fit it all in there. Amp cells or yeah, what do you like? of wow, course. Yeah, 36. Wow. Actually, LG has a 3600 milliamp hour cells which you use. What? That's the highest density thing oh now. Oh my gosh. And uh, we are, we're actually working on a dual battery setup that'll go up to like 40, 40 amp hour. Is it cross bike compatible? Because I mean, some of these, this looks like a slightly different design over here. Yeah, it's really this cool is the looking. only bike that our other batteries don't work on uh -huh. uh, because this is like a folding bike. We didn't want to pick up, put a big battery on there and it didn't suit the geometry. When you put a bigger battery on there, it just doesn't fit right. I like the name, so, the Cuddy. Yeah, that's the Yay! Cuddy. Oh boy. Oh, sorry. The show, the, the show is ending. The show is ending. It's a good way to end it with a friend. That's it. Very nice. A whole bunch of bikes. You guys have a great lineup. Uh, the Stunner, that was like one of the first like original bikes exactly, that we looked yeah, at. Exactly, yeah. The the Stunner were the two models. What about the hunting camo ones, HD? What is that? Tell me so, about this. So the, uh, so the HD is, uh, it basically uses a BBS HD motor. Oh, so it's a, a thousand watt mid motor. Great chain guide and stuff. The that's chain important. guide and, and the whole deal, yeah. And it's got a rigid fork. It's got a 450 pound carrying capacity. Oh the whole my bike. goodness, so that's that's a huge deal. Like it's a, it's larger a, it's riders. It's a giant deal, yeah. And look how beefy the things are, right? The, compared to a regular bike, it's... Really beefy. I, is this, I, I'm guessing it's a little heavier than it is heavier. some of the bikes. Uh, it's but 75 pounds. But not bad. That's not it's not built as bad like a as tank. It could be. You know? Yeah, it is built like a tank. And this one could have the like 2100. Absolutely, yeah. 21, uh, 21 21.5 amp hour battery. Wow. That yeah, fits it in there. I want to come to this side too because this isn't camo, but it looks like a yeah. This is a little classic. So this is a 750 watt motor. Uh -huh. It's like the younger brother of this one. I guess. Uh, right. That's what I was so. thinking. Right. It's kind of like a less yeah, so less. The, the payload on this is about 350 pounds instead of the 450 pounds. That's still payload. above average, man. It That's is. great. Uh, one of the things I really like about Bike Tricks is that you guys have this website and people can really customize the bikes. Absolutely, yeah. So you can pick, because the, our flow is different from others. You know, most people, they design their bikes, get it all manufactured off-road, bring it and just ship it. Uh -huh. We actually build these in Saskatoon. So we, you know, really? spec out the bikes. Which get, is in get Canada, in, right? Like northern right. area? Sorry, I assume everybody knows, but take a ca Canadian map and you point your finger right in the middle, <laughs> you'll land about 50 miles from us. Sweet. Or maybe probably on, on Saskatoon. Oh, man, what an so, effort to come to the show. Yeah, so we bring them here, we build them ourselves, So which is why I think with the coronavirus, it's not affecting us a whole lot. That's Because good. we have parts and we're just building them in-house. That's great. And we're shipping them out. That's great. And again, a whole wide range of bikes, man. Yeah, I'm really you impressed. Got, like, some com commuters, some classics, uh, you know, some cruisers and mountain bikes and the whole deal. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Well, great to see you. Thank I hope you, nice congrats you. on making the show. You finished Thanks it so up. Much. Yeah, yeah. Thanks and have so a safe much. trip back to Saskatoon. Yeah, thanks. Nice seeing you. <laughs> hey guys, the event is pretty much over, but uh, I didn't want to miss Trek. It was awesome to see their booth. They, they've got a bunch of new bikes this year, like the Vale, kind of a hybrid, almost like a kind of a cruiser model. Looks really beautiful. And they've got their, their downhill bikes, uh, rail. Yeah, that one looks really cool too. Some of the urban models here. Hey Dave, how's it going, man? Good, Cord. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. It's glad to see you guys. It's a little bit late in the show, so I missed some yep. of the the stuff. But you've still got a lot of the bikes laid out, and we've yes. got a new one here. This is the Alant Plus Seven. Yeah, Alant Plus Seven is a brand new bike. We just got it in uh, actually on Friday, well Thursday. Built Sweet. it up on Friday for the show. Wow. So brand brand new. Uh, this is running the Generation Four Bosch motor on it, which is actually half the size and half the weight of its predecessor. Yes. So that makes a significant difference. This also has a 500 watt hour battery so it's got the higher capacity battery to it fantastic um, which definitely boosts up the range but these are over 100 kilometer on eco mode in terms of range um, and then different from the eight the seven does carry a uh, suspension fork on it nice um, and i love the look at this light right here this is excellent placement because it's not yeah. gonna chatter around if it was on the arch you got the side windows yes i mean yeah. beautiful and choice here our uh, beams on the Plastic. lights too they do have that kind of cut off there so they're not going to blind drivers and so forth but they are a high powered led headlight um, and then it has the side windows so you got some side visibility on there as well i love and the reflective sidewalls on the yeah, tire so you guys are really nailing it I, and and this rack I, a lot of times i'll see these and i'm like man it's just floating there but i think it's reinforced under the fender right yeah, there for it's attached to the fender pretty good on support there. yeah to give it the support and this rack also has a top bag that can lock into it 
so it can make it very convenient for taking it on off the bag. You don't have to fight with a lot of straps and whatnot. Yes, I love it. Uh, so. Thanks for taking a few minutes with me again. Sorry for the rush at the end of the day. Yeah, you're welcome. We'll see you later this year. Yeah. Thanks, Dave.